Most often, the best dish on the menu is the one that you tried first time at a cafe. The bright side of life will figure out why. What is baby duck syndrome and why it can become a cause of a flurry of criticism to any updates? Baby duck syndrome is a psychological phenomenon in which a person considers the first thing they saw or tried in a certain area to be the best, while all the rest is considered to be worse by definition. The less similarity with the first object, the worse. This effect owes its name to the works of the zoologist Conrad Lorenz. In the early 20th century, he conducted a series of experiments on goslings and discovered a phenomenon called imprinting. Conrad noticed that if in the first 12 to 17 hours after birth, the chicks see a moving object instead of a goose, they will mistake it for their mother. As a result, the birds will follow that object, even if it is a robotic stuffed animal or a person. Despite the fact that Lorenz used geese in experiments, the effect was called baby duck syndrome due to an error in translation from German into English. As for people, most often this psychological phenomenon is connected with their attitude to digital products. This effect manifests itself when users do not want to learn new, more convenient programs and interfaces, preferring to use the familiar ones. However, baby duck syndrome can manifest itself in any area of life, from food choices and entertainment to career development and relationships. Why do people get baby duck syndrome? There are several reasons why people may become attached and loyal to less than ideal products. First, we love familiar things. When we see a thing several times, we begin to like it more than something completely unfamiliar. This feature is called the mere exposure effect. For example, if you saw a picture, but didn't even remember it, you will rate the image as more beautiful next time. It works the same way with music tracks that you like more and more over time, and even with relationships. In one experiment they found that people tend to choose partners who according to various criteria, from appearance to character, resemble their parent of the opposite sex. Second, we are afraid of the unknown. Nobody likes the unknown, but anxious people endure it with real difficulty, experiencing great stress. We can assume that baby duck syndrome is a way of protection. Familiar things, even if they are not so good, help fight anxiety caused by the unknown. And to justify their subconscious fear, a person may recognize the familiar as the best and flatly refuse to try something new. 3. We believe the longer something exists, the better. In one study, people were asked to rate a pair of paintings, saying that one was painted in 1905 and the other in 2005. Participants recognized the older work as the best. The same thing happened in other experiments comparing two brands of chocolate or medical practices like acupuncture. At the same time, all the objects proposed for evaluation actually differed only by the description. This effect can be seen everywhere in everyday life. For example, people remain loyal to old brands with costly products but inferior in quality to new ones. Or ancient practices are chosen instead of modern methods of treatment, the effectiveness of which has not been proven and is highly doubtful. Can baby duck syndrome hurt? Loyalty to a thing or a person, from a cell phone model to a life partner, should be a conscious choice. But if it is thoughtless and exists due to fear or habit, a person risks missing out on opportunities for development in a happy, fulfilling life. Unwilling to learn new programs and tools, people reduce their efficiency and increase the time to complete tasks. Moreover, this applies to both work processes and household chores. Even hobbies can be improved by optimizing boring processes, freeing up time for creativity and pleasure. Baby duck syndrome can also hurt relationships. If a person grew up in a family with an unhealthy atmosphere, in adulthood they are very likely to build a similar model bad, but at least familiar. The world is full of new opportunities, delicious dishes, great music tracks, and interesting activities. And over and over again choosing the same thing, a person does not allow themselves, and sometimes their loved ones, to fully enjoy everything that life offers. Is it possible to overcome baby duck syndrome? Baby duck syndrome can be copped by developing mindfulness and being honest to yourself. 
the next time you're faced with an opportunity to try something new, don't turn it down right away. Apply the technique of analyzing the advantages and disadvantages. List the pros and cons, and then consider whether you can somehow eliminate the latter. If so, cross them out and see what's left. For example, a partner invites you to visit a new place during your vacation instead of usual resort. Before you refuse, try to highlight the advantages and disadvantages of such a trip. What are the advantages? This will make your partner happy. The ocean is cleaner there, and the beaches are more comfortable. In addition to a beach rest, you can visit cultural sites or events. What are the disadvantages? The trip will be costly. It's scary to go to an unfamiliar place. You know you're going to feel bad about jet lag. Then, think about whether you can somehow get around the disadvantages. First, money. Try finding cheaper tickets or a hotel. Second, the fear of the unknown. Try learning more about the resort, reading reviews, asking people who have been there to find out about all the possible problems. Jet lag, you can't cope with it, unfortunately. Thus, you will be left with one minus and three pluses. Why not visit a new resort? This approach can work, but it will take a lot of effort to avoid bias. Try to look at the situation from the side, as if choosing something not for yourself, but for another person. This will help find the best solution. How to be more open to new things. A large number of experiments is not always good, and sometimes it is not necessary at all. For example, if you are happily married, you won't get divorced just because you can. In other cases, it is important to be able to experiment, it allows you to make the best decision and not put up with a bad option. Change your life little by little. Improve your financial situation, take care of your health, manage your time wisely, then gradually you will have more room for experiments. Ensure your financial stability. To do this, you need to spend less than you get and keep savings. Also be sure to create a financial cushion for emergencies. Avoid pointless activities. Exhausted people are usually not up to the new. Try to get rid of unnecessary small things and do not agree to each of the offered tasks. Make time for experimentation. Leave blank spaces on your calendar ahead of time to learn new things, meet people, and visit unfamiliar places. Strengthen friendships and other relationships. Prosperity requires not only money, but also the emotional support of loved ones. In toxic relationships or alone, we often make decisions that harm our long-term interests. Learn to settle for less. There are people who earn a lot, but still feel cornered because they spend every penny. Others earn much less, but feel they have enough. Try not to overestimate your requests, and there will be more opportunities for experimentation. Do you find yourself in baby duck syndrome trap? Comment below and share your experience. Like this video and subscribe so the bright side of life is always with you.